everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show, and I'm here with a tutorial. Bold tutorial, dramatic tutorial, not subtle like that last one, as you can see. Super purple, inspired by Kat Von D, a woman who inspires me every day in my life. I, I cannot tell you what a Kat Von D fan I am. Um, I just think it's been amazing what she's been able to do with her career. I have done her other palette. Um, the other one was the Monarch palette. This one is called the Chrysalis palette. It's the one with all the beautiful jewel tones in it. And Inspired was also her new lipstick, which is what I'm wearing on my lips. Very bold, very bright, very much about fall, the coming fall. I've paired it. Um, green and purple are... I have like color combos that I really love. In summer, I really love bright orange and bright pink together. In winter, I love deep emerald greens and jewel tone purples. Um, I've worn those combos of colors for years, so that's why I paired these uh, together. So yeah, I hope you dig it. So I've already put on my foundation, concealer, and powder. Now I'm going to go in with my um, Stay Don't Stray by Benefit and put that on my eyelids. And again, not pinning the bangs back because I have a cowlick. And if I pin them back, I won't be able to get them back down into this position. I want this to be really dramatic. So I'm actually going to lay down a cream base in purple before I actually apply the purple eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this brush, which is one of my favorite tools. This is the Sephora Professional uh, Cream Eyeshadow Brush in the number 25. And whenever you're applying cream products, it's fantastic. And I'm going to use with it the Sephora ombre waterproof 16 hour eyeshadow velvet eyeshadow in plush purple looks like this and i'm just gonna dap it in and just sort of from the crease down lay a base on the eyelid this uh this eyeshadow has a really great sparkle in it and because it's cream of course the sparkle doesn't fall out it stays in it so that'll create a really nice base for the shadow I'm going to put on afterward. It doesn't have to be super neat because powder is going over it but I do want to make it darker near the lash line and then getting lighter as it goes towards my, my crease. So now I've got a pretty good base down so now time to move into the piece de resistance. So here all the beautiful colors are. So I'm taking this Sonia Kashuk small eyeshadow brush and I'm going to grab this kind of dark purple right on the very end. I guess it's called Tournay. And I'm going to lay it down a little bit on the outside of that lid, but I'm not going to fully commit because I don't know if it's the color I actually want. So I'm going to lay that down right next to the lash line. And you want to do this very delicately because we've already done our foundation and I don't want to get any fallout on my face. Now I'm just going to turn that brush around and I'm going to the color right next to it. It's a little bit lighter. That color is called Intuned. And I'm going to put that just above that darker color that I just used and sort of blend over the top of it. So you see I put it up here but then I blend it over the top of that darker color so that it all has the tinge of that Intuned color but as you get closer to the lash line, it gets darker. So now before I do anything else, I am going to, again, I'm making this very intense. I'm going to line my tight line on my waterline. I'm using this Tarte Inner Rim Liner. I don't think there's an actual color on this. It's just the Lights, Camera, Washes Inner Rim Liner by Tarte. So anyway, I'm going to go in and tight line with it. So now that I've taken that black color to do my tight line and my waterline, I'm taking this really cool um, Physician's Formula. They're called Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Coal Cajole Eyeliner. Um, it's a trio for brown eyes and this one is the purple one from it. And with this purple one I'm going to line my lower lash line. Again, it doesn't have to be super neat because now I'm going to go in with a shadow. I'm using this pencil brush. This is a Coastal Sense, e or sorry, an Eco Tools pencil brush. I just like one that has a pretty good tip on it. And I'm going to pick up this same color here, the Intuned, and just sort of smudge along that bottom lash line. 
Now right down at this end there's a color called Hybrid Moments. It's actually in the deepest, deepest blue, but it looks almost black. I'm going to take a little bit of that on the tip of that pencil brush and just kind of work back and forth right on the upper lash line with that. Just to create a little bit more darkness near the lash line. Now I'm taking the MAC 226 brush and I'm going into this pink right here, which is called Lifelike. And I'm going to use it to just soften the edge. It's sort of a transforming color. So if you pull up a little bit of the color on the edge and mix it with this pink, it creates like a whole new purple. And that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'm going to take this um, Bobbi Brown brush. It's the Eye Sweet brush. And I'm going to grab some of that pink on its own and just place it right up under my brow bone. Then I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use my um, e.l.f. brow spoolie to just brush them first. Again, this is not a subtle look I'm going for. I'm, I'm definitely uh, looking for a dramatic effect. My last tutorial was very subtle, so I thought we should counter that. Sorry, and I should tell you I'm doing my brows using an EcoTools slanted brush and the Tarte Eyebrow Mousse. The brows are done. Loving the intensity of the purple on the eyes. Now, before I do my mascara, I don't know why I always like to skip to my face before I do the mascara, so I'm going to do a little contouring. I'm using Benefits Hula, and I am using a Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman Duo Fiber Face Brush. Just carve out my cheeks a bit. Now I was going to try to use a Kat Von D blush, but I realized I don't have any Kat Von D blushes in quite the color I was looking for. So instead, I'm going for the Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in the color Fantastic, which is a really, really bright pink. And I wanted that bright pink because when you see the purple I'm going to use on my lips, um, it's pretty intense. So I didn't want the cheeks to look, you know, washed out. This is just a no-name brand brush. I don't even know. This came in like some gift with purchase. But I just love the shape and size of it. Now I'm going kind of heavy with the blush. Because to be honest, what's inspiring me with this is um, 80s makeup. And I came of age in the 80s. I graduated from high school in 1986. So, um, this was all the rage in my day, and I love when I see some of that stuff come back. Okay, before I do the uh, lips, I will now go back to my eyes. I'm going to do it off camera, but what I'm going to do is curl my lashes with my Tarte Lash Curler. Then I am going to put on some Too Faced Lash Injection Mascara. And then I'm going to use my Duo Glue to put on these uh, Red Cherry number 16 lashes. I'll do all that off camera and I'll be right back. Hey, what's happening? So I got my lashes on. And guess what my first thought was? <gasps> Not enough glitter! You know what I'm like. I cannot do a look without using glitter. Um, so I'm going to use these two heavy metal eyeliners by Urban Decay. One is the old version, which is um, ACDC. And one is the new version, which is Metalhead. Actually, I might have that the other way around. But anyway, Metalhead and ACDC. And I'm just going to put a little glitter along the bottom. It's a purple glitter along the bottom lash line. And what I feel about glitter on the lower lash line is if I get it on my lashes, all the better. So I brought it in pretty far, but before I put it actually around the tear duct, I'm just going to highlight that inner corner, and I'm doing that using my uh, Jane Eardale or Jane Ardell uh, Mystical Pencil. It's just like a little sponge thing that dips into the powder, and it's just a bright pink, and I'm just going to put that right around that inner tear duct, just to brighten that up. Got a little brush I'm just going to blend in with a little bit. 
Now I'm going to lay a little glitter in there as well. Alright, now for the really big pop of color, what makes this look super bold, the lips. I searched my collection high and low and do not have a lip liner that even came close to the lipstick color I'm going to use. So instead I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Clear Lip Liner just to try to keep my just to try to keep my lipstick from moving. Um, I already put on MAC Prep and Prime when I started. And now... So this is the new Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick. And this is in the color Wonder Child. Check it out. It's purple. I'm going to go right from the tube very carefully because like I said, I don't have a lip, uh, lip liner. I may go off camera a little bit. I'm sorry if that happens, but I, gotta, I have to be able to see. Oh, I love this color. In the camera, it looks kind of more washed out pink, but woohoo, in real life, this is almost like a fluorescent version of the eyes. Now, I know that a lot of people, if they're going to go with this dark eye, they would go with a neutral lip. Cool, do that if you're more comfortable with that. I have really big lips and really small eyes, and I love sometimes using just the whole monochrome of all the colors matching and when I got this Kat Von D lipstick I just thought yeah I'm doing a look with this and that incredible palette. So this is how it all turned out. Um, I love it. I love dramatic makeup so you know every now and then I like doing those lighter looks for those of you who are into the lighter more natural look but when I'm in my own wheelhouse it's a lot of this. Like I said I came of age in the 80s so give me a heavy fuchsia purple look and I'm right there with you. Um, sorry about all the no noise in the video today. It's like as soon as we decided to shoot, our dogs won't stop walking and making noise on the beanbag. Uh, five idiots tried to get their car alarm worked out in the parking lot and couldn't and then the garbage truck came. It was crazy! But I think this makeup is louder than all of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying all the tutorials and if you want me to continue to do more. I have all that new makeup that I've been hauling over the last few months that I have stacked right up there ready to do more tutorials for you. So um, yeah, that's all I have to say right now. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.